What's up guys? Today we're making sizzling turmeric fish with dill, also known as jacka tan lam or jacka lavam. Any white fish you can get your hands on. I got some wild cod here from Costco and we're gonna thick cut these bad boys up. You can use halibut, you can use tilapia, but this one's a deal. Get them chopped up and we're gonna add our garlic powder, turmeric, ginger powder, mushroom seasoning or chicken bouillon. That's our paprikash. We got some nukmam and honey. You can use sugar if you want. Black pepper and we're just gonna let this marinate for an hour. It doesn't have to be crazy. Oh, and hit it with some olive oil for a little bit more flavor. Let that sit and let's get prepping our veggies. Green onions here, cut them two inch thick. We got one medium sized ginger sliced up and half an onion chopped up. I left the skin on the ginger because it's organic so just leave the skin on. If not, you can peel it. Next, this dish is enjoyed with vermicelli noodles. Bring some water up to hotness and we're gonna boil this per the package instructions. Rinse in cold water and set aside. All right, let's get to sizzling. Hot cast iron here. We're gonna get our marinated fish in here. And we're gonna get a good sear on these bad boys. Shouldn't take too long, but get them nice and black and crispy. Add some color. And we're gonna sizzle dizzle our way to dinner. It's a very interactive dish very family friendly dish to share with everyone sear these bad boys on both sides get them out of the pan this is batch number two i'm just going to do it all at once because we're going to eat all this fish baby that's right that's right once everything is cooked and seared we're going to scrape off the rest of the smaller pieces you can see all that beautiful dripping still stuck on that cast iron pan don't you worry it will not go to waste in goes our green onions red onions and ginger and medium low heat here and we're gonna get a heaping tablespoon of high quality butter don't forget the butter and then just kind of saute everything in the juices of the fish, little crunchy bits with the oil and the butter. And this here is the star of the show. This is fresh dill. I'm just going to cut the full bunch, just the tops off. Slowly fold this in with the veggies so it can release some aromatic gap. This is kind of like the base. This adds more color, flavor to the dish, and then we're gonna add back our beautiful cod, marinated cod that we seared up back into our sizzling cast iron. And then we're gonna just gently fold everything back in get a good mixture to make it look pretty it's a very delicate dish the fish is very fragile and the reason i'm making this is because we had a bunch of herbs from kim's mom's garden that she gifted us so we got thai basil that's fish leaf there it tastes like fish to some people this is peppermint beautiful peppermint and this is Vietnamese coriander and we like to enjoy it with 
uh, whole bit long, which is like our version of Balut. So that's our herbs, and this is our mum name, which is unfiltered fish sauce. It's thick and smelly and delicious. So we hit it with some, we gotta remix it because it's very, very strong. Uh, honey or sugar, one full lime to cut that saltiness to balance that honey. And that's our mum name sauce because you know we love our sauces. And there it is, everybody. Jack at Tanlaum. This is our spread. We got our vermicelli. We got our herbs. We got our sauce, our mum name. And then we got some peanuts. And there it is. This is how you serve it. A la carte. Cut in some Thai chilies into that mum name. For that extra kick. And it's a very interactive dish. You eat with your friends. Eat with your loved ones. Assemble it. Get your noodles. Get your fish. Look how beautiful all the colors are. The yellow, the greens, the purples, the reds. The oh, I love this dish. It's so fun. Not a lot of places serve it here in the States. There's one in San Jose. I think a few in Orange County. And that's about it. That specializes in this dish. Add your herbs. Add your mum name, chilies, some peanuts, and this is how it's traditionally eaten in Vietnam. Uh, I think it originated in the north, and this is the perfect bite. Just take your time. It's going to take a long time to eat. Hang out with your friends. Eat with your loved one, your best friend. It's Kim's first time trying it, and she loved it. She loves all these light dishes with fresh herbs. And it's just so good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a good weekend.